And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an aloof mill deck to start off Meme Tier Tuesday. That's right. We got two Meme Tier days this week. Had some more cool Meme Tier donation decks to get to. This is going to be a uh, deck that's going to be built around milling out the opponent using Maokai to mill all but four non-champions. That's all you leave with Maokai. And then having aloof travelers finish the job and have them draw the rest of their cards. Also, if we don't have Maokai, we can just try to get a whole lot of aloof travelers and then use Harrowing and bring back a lot of aloof travelers. Basically, that's going to be kind of the goal of our deck. We have um, aloof travelers with Chronicler of Ruin that can kill them and resummon them so we can get more summons that way. And we also have S Splinter Soul that can copy aloof travelers. And then we have the combo with Splinter Soul and Chronicler of Ruin. Because if you, if you Splinter Soul, you get a copy of an ally. It's a Ephemeral and a 1-1. One, one. Cool, all right. We got our 1-1 one, one Aloof Travelers. And then if you Chronicler of Ruin it, you kill it, revive it. It revives back as the OG 3-4 and not as the Ephemeral 1-1 one, one anymore. So it's Splinter Soul plus Chronicler of Ruin is a nice combo. And you can do that with anything because this is any ally. It doesn't have to just be, you know, like a common like Aloof Travelers. You can actually do that combo with... Uh, champion. So like we could get multiple Maokais or multiple Viegos in play with that combo. So we also have Iterative Improvement that's over here chilling that they can copy Aloof Travelers for us. That's another way to get more Aloof Travelers. Um, besides that, we're going to have different things that toss to help uh, level up Maokai. Um, and then we'll also have like Camivore and Soldier with the Encroaching Mist to help Viego. Basically, Viego is going to be in here as like removal bait where like have our opponent use their mini morph on our on the viego and you know their removal spells on the viego and ignore our aloof travelers and maokai hopefully that's basically what viego's in here for but viego and maokai work well together how maokai makes the sapling the sapling dies makes encroaching mist right like they those they work pretty well together also not really playing removal so we got a bunch of ruinations at the top end because uh, basically we'll, we're going to keep flooding the board so the opponent's going to flood the board and whenever they go real wide we'll ruination and then after ruination we can follow that up with a harrowing um bringing back aloof travelers their viego is bigger than aloof travelers but viego is the only thing in our deck that should come in um bigger than the three four all right anyway let's get to it let's play aloof mill this uh could be some long games we shall see we're gonna head on over to normal play our five games because meme tier days we just play our decks in normal and we have Caitlyn Draven. All right, they're an aggressive deck. All right, so we're gonna send these all back, keep Aristocrat for a blocker. I kinda wanna just keep the Aloof Travelers. <clears throat> I said Aloof Travelers, sorry. I want, kinda wanna keep the Chronicler of Ruin. I just have Aloof Travelers on the brain. So that if we drew Aloof Travelers, we'd have the Chronicler for him. Sea Scarab into Copy Sea Scarab could be kind of cool. Get our 3 4 that starts tossing a whole, a whole lot. Egg. Did it move? Lots of OC Scarabs. Good, you want to attack? Oh. Now we're cooking. victims. They did the correct thing. Alright, um I guess I have to block. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Get 
too scared to even block with Draven. to find Maokai, but we're doing a good job tossing. Look, a thing. Wow, no, really? We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Hmm. They got their anti aloof traveler package over there. Okay, if I play Maokai, they play the 4 3 Challenger. You can open attack challenging Maokai. Kind of the same thing with playing Diego. In a good spot. I've had good interaction. <clears throat> now we're cooking. I do this for her, for us. to imagine that this Viego is going to die. <clears throat> Alright, not dead yet. The Viego, that is. I'm blocking here to save the most health. I'm gonna save one extra health by doing this. Yeah, that this puts them with ten cards in hand. Why? <laughs> We're supposed to be the good Aloof Travelers deck, but we are getting destroyed by Aloof Travelers so far. It's quite disappointing. Alright, so right now this is... Yeah, because Aloof Travelers hasn't died. So we get... So that's what we're getting. Which isn't that bad.
for the money makers. So many lost souls. One regular Viego. Oh. So I wanted to Chronicler Viego before attacks so that um, want to do it before attacks and they're just going to get another one of these and I can't ever aloof travelers um, so that the Viego could go towards leveling up. This Twin Blade Revenant has just been quite annoying for my plan. Just kill me. Man, this card has been rough. We made it. Yay. But our stuff didn't. Good game opponent. Good hand. Okay. So yeah, everything everything really lined up for them. That was pretty rough. I think that our deck didn't look too bad though, and so I'm I'm confident in our deck getting some wins against other stuff. This is good early defense, but none of our like really good cards, so I kind of want to do some mulliganing so we don't have any of our good cards. Let's send the Vile Feast back, and we'll just keep like these two blockers. Okay, we got a Maokai this time. Well, I guess we did last time too, but they killed it immediately. It's like they killed everything immediately. by my side. Okay, good looking hand. Azir's command. These aisles will be cleansed. So we need to get that number from three up some more. Do not see what is, see what will be. Get out of here. Keep your distance. Oh. I didn't expect Black Spear. I didn't expect that too much. It's playtime. Discard Hecarim. I like that ruination. Yeah, and make them discard Hecarim. Together we are part of something more. Now we're the aloof deck. You are children of Shurima. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Yes, that's what I thought. So yeah, we have the perfect mana for Splinter Soul plus Chronicler next round. Um you have to get me out of here. How are we going down to eighteen? Oh, Phantom Prankster. Right, right, right. Okay.
All right, so this is what our deck's all about. Yeah, another Splinter Soul. That's cool. We're gonna Splinter Soul aloof travelers. Make them discard their second he Hecarim. And Desert's Wrath. I'd raise a thousand soldiers to fight for Sharima. Empires are built on ambition and servitude. All right, so we toss one, draw one. Make them discard their second Hecarim. Okay. Kind of doing it. Eleven out of twenty-five. Always for it is time. From the stands. Tell the people what you have seen today. You're only four away from deep. Go away. long ways away from leveling up Maokai, even though we're about to be deep, we have, like, nothing left to toss. <laughs> uh, let's see. Probably gonna want to Ruination next round. The most expensive card in hand costs three mana. Gets rid of two Phantom Pranksters. No, my loop travelers. Does death follow me or peace? So that's what we're, we're talking about with our deck of just like making our opponent extend into ruination. Come, the journey ahead is long. The Isles will bloom again. That's our thinking with the ruination. Okay, this gets us three blockers. We level up this Maokai. They got the shark and these sand soldiers. We kind of need the Sea Scarab to die because we were kind of tossing too much, right? Like we need we need to have make sure that we have enough cards to stay alive. So let's actually block here because I don't want one there. Maokai is gonna have regen and level up there. I don't want to toss too many more things out, honestly. No, our last loot travelers. Four cards. And so life springs anew. There we go. Yeah, we get our own Neverglade Collector. They're not going to be able to kill us in time. And then we're going to mill them out. This deck is pretty insane. It's just play defense, play defense, play defense. It's the name of the game. I don't know if I should even keep Viego. We should mulligan the other Viego. 
I kind of think I'll keep one. All right, we're just gonna be tossing. Yeah, we we play all this stuff, so they go real wide. Then we ruination. I'll do better this time. Good. Expecting you to do better this time. No one's the wiser. Mark it down. Nineteen. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't have kept the first okay, Diego. Damn it. Let's go. Grab my hat. Comb my mustache. Stop. Can make a. 3-3 Vandal City Mayor. What are they going to do? I'll just pass. Hang on. <laughs> We're rolling. Or make a 3-4 Sea Scarab. Make this 3-4 Sea Scarab. And get our toss on. Go deep su super fast. Well, oh, that's not a bad thing either. That's a good four mana there. Put eight seven worth of power in play for four mana. That's not bad. It goes to eleven. Haha! Look at that. We're making the aggro deck. They're not even wanting to. Ooh, aloof travelers. They're not even want to attack. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. All right, got a decimate out of here. Good, good. How about that? We just shut down their attacks. Without her, there is only darkness. They, they can't really attack, they can't really block. Made life really difficult for them. Alright, Callista Shivana. Yeah, they're like, I can't attack, I can't block, my decimate's gone. I'm out here. Shivana Callista. They're probably going to do a little bit better job attacking. Their, their things are going to be bigger, right? Like that. The thing about our opponent's deck is they're all like small things, and so you've got to do good trading. But if there's like a Shivana that's like turning into like a five six and seven eight and stuff, that's going to make our life a lot more difficult. What's that noise? And then if they have challengers or Maokai. Absolutely worth it. Instead of that dragon chow drawing a card, you know, using a vile feast on it. Instead of that dragon chow drawing a card, and yeah, putting a counter on the Shivana. The Isles will bloom again. Hmm. So my only unit in my hand is the Chronicler of Ruin. We have a good. Target. But I also kind of want a Splinter Soul. Alright, so this is obviously not a good setup for us. They're going to 
Oh, I thought they were going to kill Maokai. Like How about that? They're not killing Maokai. Please, I have connections. Huh. Now I take to the sky. <laughs> they didn't kill Maokai, but they have all these big dragons. We need to draw a Ruination. Alright, that's this is why we're playing Ruination, is for this kind of stuff. I can't make two Oh no, I need that Ruination. Can't make two saplings. So get a toss four. Single combat was gonna kill one of these things anyway, like with all these dragons. It kinda of, it's kinda of good getting just getting it out of hand. Uh yeah. Even though that means I'm not tossing that. We shall not rest until all betrayers be. Guess I'm passing. Eighteen, or so it's already at nineteen. Nineteen, so it's so it's twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Get, get you out of here. I don't even get Maokai back. So I'm gonna get Maokai back. We obviously really, really, really needed Ruination for this matchup, right? Like, that's, like, the only card that was important in this whole matchup was Ruination. Oh, I should have mulliganed more looking for Ruination. Because, yeah, they did have the big dragons, like I talked about, that could be quite problematic. Dragons do eat spiders. That is true. My splinter soul. Please, I have connections. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Oh, man, made them discard Cythria. for Callista. So I'm I assume this is too late. I wish we got Maokai back. They still have a whole bunch of more, like a whole bunch more dragons that are gonna kill us, but I mean, guess might as well try. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Oh. If I 
All right, so we're out of ruination. The reason to make that attack is because if I don't, they I still trade with three, but they challenge at the very end. So like we would have taken lethal, but now it's not quite lethal. I found a home among the dragon god. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. Got another aloof travelers. Got rid of their spectral matron. I needed to aloof. I did aloof because I was planning on going this plus Viego plus we could have Viego's champion spell. Right, but now they, they drew into that other Cythria. Without that Cythria, you know, like we were coming back, right? Like, cause like this would have been like a kind of a nice setup. Without that Cythria, we were coming, we were kind of coming back. Good hand opponent. That's tough to beat. Shivana's still awesome. And, you know, they had. They curved Callista into Shivana, into Screeching Dragon, into Screeching Dragon. That is really difficult to beat for basically every deck. So, no shame with like either of our losses. There, those were two really good quality decks that were going to be beating lots of opponents. Uh, this is going to be so Poppy Ziggs again. We had a really good strong hand against Poppy Ziggs last time, but this is the kind of deck that we can control, like because we can you know put up a lot of blockers, and if they just have small units, especially if they don't have Poppy, like last game. Hey, you just played against us, Psycho Square. GG's. Good hand there. Too many good dragons. Multiple, like, you know, Shivana, Screeching Dragon, Screeching Dragon. That's tough to beat. Not many people beat that. And we certainly did. So GG's. Those dragons are great against spiders and 1-4s. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so we're going to probably iterative improvement our Thorny Toad. I like this ruination. This requires my largest official hat. We just want to block. Just want to block. Cool. I will tend this garden. Next, basically, we're gonna make them go real wide, and then ruination. Hang on. <laughs> we're rolling. Red that baby up, and let's see what it can. Man, yeah, it's crazy having. Two Bandal City Mayors, then you get to play Bomber Twins for zero, Ziggs for one mana. One mana for these two together. <laughs> All right, team, adventure time. Oh, you go. The whole world will know It's crazy, then this thing's two mana. There's something to that Bandle City Mayor card, I think. I think that card could be good. Not sure, though. I 
I think it could. I think it could be good. I can't wait to see what this one does! <laughs> Aloof. All right, we got a lot of ruinations. What's that noise? No, second aloof. So, like last game, they didn't have the poppy. The poppy is the problem of how it just grows everything. That's the problem card. So obviously that's bad for us that we take the three Nexus damage, but that's kind of good for us that then we're going to have the Encroaching Mist as another blocker this next round. So we can't just have another Noxion Fervor, so we don't just die to another Noxion Fervor immediately. Obviously, we'll, dry, we'll die to a decimate. Surrender to me. But you know, best deck in the format with a with a really great hand. Good game. Doesn't matter what we do here. We have three impact and then the one damage from the zig, so we're dead no matter what we do. Oh, wait, 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 I have Thorny Toad. I forgot about Thorny Toad, but oh well. My victory is simply a matter of time. Okay, so I think our deck was, wasn't too bad. You know, obviously we're playing meme tier decks here, right? Um, but the Aloof Traveler's Splinter Soul Chronicler of Ruin, that was actually pretty sweet. Uh, we got to do some cool stuff, but again, we're a meme tier deck. We're not going to put up the most wins, and we played against three really good decks that had really good hands, and so we lost those, and there's there's no shame in that. So just because we had a three, a two and three record doesn't necessarily mean our deck was that bad. I could see us going three and two the next time that we play this, or maybe even four and one if we get the correct matchups and if things go our way, um, but you know, there's also a lot of other really good decks. I think it was pretty consistent, though, of, of you know, milling our opponent out. Aloof, Aloof Travelers is good, <laughs> you know, when we had that card. That card is good. Maybe I need to mulligan for it more. Uh, maybe we need to do that. Um, but I liked it. That was, a, that was a fun Aloof Travelers mill deck. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. And if you're looking for, um, you know, a different style of deck, looking for something a little janky and want to mill people out with aloof travelers, give this a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. But that's going to be it for aloof mill. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.